Hi, welcome to a new video. My name is Lee Ellickson. The last time I said my last name in a video, some people commented and said that they always thought that the X in my last name was like a decoration. Like if my screen name was X Lee X, like that kind of vibe. And I love that. I love it so much. <laughs> It unfortunately isn't actually for decoration and or to be cool. I wish that it was and I I might I might change things up to make it permanently decorative. I don't know how I would do that, but I will try. Um, I need everyone to grab their water. My water is across the room. Here she is. This is my water bottle. I, I did make a claim on this for the leaking problem and they did accept, but I have not sent my water bottle in as an update on the water bottle thing. I will eventually send this bottle in. I'm currently spending as much time with my stickers as I can before I send them away. I will probably try and take them off and put them somewhere else, like in a sketchbook, before I send her off. Um, but grab your water. Welcome to a new video. This is partially a shop update video and partially a moving video. The shop update was a little, was so, was so big. I think biggest shop update ever. It really proved the point that my old studio, as you can see, I, I'm in the new studio, but my old studio was too small for what I was doing. Especially with two to three people working in it, it just did not function well. So that was really cool about the shop update. I didn't film a ton of it because it was, it was, it was really big. I th it had to have been my biggest shop update ever. I cannot believe how many orders we packed. Crazy. I felt literally crazy. It was so much. And I was thinking about moving and I was like, I can't film this. Thank you everyone who supported it. I'm really excited to restock my shop and get everything going again once I get all set up in this new studio. So keep an eye out for that. I don't know when that will be. Sometime, for sure I'll do it. And then we move into the studio, which was which was generally not too bad. Moving is typically horrible, but moving into the studio wasn't too bad. I didn't have to move too far and I don't have that much stuff. Like I don't I have I have two desks and one shelf and then just like stuff. That was generally pretty easy, so I did film a lot of that process. James and I have been putting things together around here, making plans for some more furniture and what we want the space to be so that's kind of end this vlog i hope that you like it thank you so much for coming like the video in advance why not subscribe to my channel you will not regret it it's a good place good place but yeah let's get on with the video let's get on with it Yee -yee. <laughs> okay enjoy I got everyone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's totally. Smell it. It's scented. <laughs> That's Alex perfume. <laughs> I found the missing wheel. Where? I don't remember. Everything <laughs> fell. That's yeah. Funny. That was super helpful. Thanks for nothing. No problem, dude. <laughs> when we dropped off some packages before. Are you seriously just standing in front of the? Sorry. <laughs> Grace told me to. What? <laughs> Um, when we dropped them off at the place in Northside, I was like, there's usually not this many. 
and this time there's gonna be even more. That's funny. You lied to them. Well, there usually isn't that many. This is gonna be a time lapse. I would like to take this moment to thank our sponsor, Pila. Thank you, Pila, for sponsoring this video. I've been using these phone cases for a while, and not only are they comfortable to hold, they're 100% compostable. And what I love about Pila is that there's no greenwashing. Greenwashing is my literal nightmare. Pila is a member of 1% for the Planet, B Corp certified, and climate neutral certified. So if you are looking to get one of these phone cases, I have a discount code for you. My discount code is Lee. The first 50 subscribers to use the code or the link in my description will receive 40% off their purchase from Pila. After the first 50 people use the code, you will get 25% off. Thank you again, Pila, for sponsoring this video. I stabbed this business card. That's super cool. Mm -hmm. You're the luckiest girl I know. You think? I know it. I wish I was as cool as you. Though. I didn't make these. Yeah, but you got them. Here's some nice footage of me packing up my old studio. I'm packing up all my little knickknacks and doodads, which are honestly my favorite things that I own. So this was a very important process to me. But as I've been watching this footage back of me in my old studio, I have just been extra, extra grateful for James and I making this decision to move into a new studio. And for the first time in my life and career, I have a separation between work and home. It's, it's crazy. I've been doing this for like six or seven years. I have never had a space outside of my home where I could just like work and a space where I could just be home. So I, I've been in my new studio for like a week now as of making this voiceover. And I already feel more at peace with separating my life a little bit. I am so excited to see how the process comes together. For all of you wondering what's going on with my old studio room, I do get into that at the end of the video. And I know it's a it's a burning question, so just stay tuned, my friends. Do what? You know what we need for the postcards? What? A car. 
card display. Oh. Like all those revolving ones or like desktop ones? Can I just like spell things up at levels? You know what I'm talking about? Kind of. It's just how many can they hold? Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask them. Those are kind of interesting because they're like dress pants pockets. Yeah. I don't know what kind of shorts they are. Where'd you go? I have no idea. I haven't for a long time. Like I might have got them at the gap outlet. Mm. Yeah. And I have a of me moving and doing the shop update, I managed to make some of my favorite paintings I've made in a really long time. My roommate Allie went to a baby shower and she picked up this bouquet of flowers and we put it in this vase and I was like, wow, I never have fresh flowers. And I just, I was staring at them one morning, one morning and I was like, I, I have to paint these. And I painted them twice, and I love how the paintings turn out. I am so proud of them, and I had so much fun painting them. I'm going to have to buy more flowers for myself, because what have I been doing with my life not getting flowers, you know? But I did make a video with this same footage real time for my patrons. If you didn't know, I make an exclusive video every month for my Patreon. And this month's was this footage, but extra more, more of it in real time. And I answer a bunch of questions that my patrons ask me, and I just love making Patreon videos. It's so chill and fun, so if you're looking for more, more video content from me, it's been a while since I've posted. I post one a month on Patreon. This is me self-promoing. I don't feel like I self-promo enough for Patreon, but join me on Patreon. It's super cool. You absolutely don't have to, but I do have one. There will be a link in the description. XOXO. Love you regardless of if you join or not. Thank you. Hello. <clears throat> it is. It is. It's Wednesday, March 16th. I um, have a bit of a cold suddenly, like today. So I've been taking it easy today. But yesterday, James and I started to move some more things into the studio. We had only picked up a few things from Facebook Marketplace. I got a little couch, a little vintage metal rolling cart, and a mirror. 
So yesterday we loaded up my little hatch bag with a few boxes and we brought in some shelving. I picked up this like big metal shelf from Menards and it has um, like com composite shelves in it. And we started putting it together, it's black metal. And just like the black metal was really my vibe. So I think I'm gonna take it apart and spray paint it maybe. I'm thinking like a lavender. I just, I, it was my first idea and I like that first idea. So I think I'm gonna pick up some lavender spray paint and just spray paint the black pieces and leave the composite wood just normal. I think it will be really, really cute. We got more tracked shelving, like what we just put in my studio. So we have more of that. Um, instead of the white shelves, we just got wood shelves because one, we had to go to Menards instead of Home Depot where I got my initial shelves because Home Depot was out of the eight foot one. The ones in my studio are six foot and I wanted eight foot for the studio, the new studio. It's fair, I don't know how to address each studio so it makes sense, but we picked up eight foot long pieces of wood. I don't know what kind of wood we decided on, but the shelves will be just pieces of wood instead of the white composite shelves menards um shelving options just weren't as nice looking i mean home depots aren't super nice looking they look fine with stuff on them but if you look close they're not nice they're they're a little banged up and scuffed and stuff and menards were even worse so i decided to go with wood which i think will be really nice to have that wood texture in my studio because everything's kind of just like a smooth white, mostly. That's all that's really going on. We are moving very slowly. The shop update is still lingering because I got, one, I got tons of orders, tons of orders, so many orders. It has to be my biggest shop update ever. I don't know if I've said that on this vlog yet. I ran out of my large mailers, I ordered them, and then Eco and Clothes sent me the wrong mailers, and it's been a whole thing to try and get them replaced and traded out. I don't know why it's been so hard. Uh, we cont I contacted Eco and Clothes. I was like, hey, you guys mixed up the mailers. Here's my order. Here's the ones I ordered and these are what I got. And they're like, please send us a photo. And James sent them a photo and they're like, hey, since this is an iPhone photo, we can't open it through your email. So James had to change the photo to a JPEG. I don't even know what happened, but it, it then got pushed over the weekend and then it was extra, extra days. I still don't even know if they've shipped them yet and these orders are over two weeks old and I hate that they're two weeks old but there's really nothing I can do unless I want to get like some not as recycled or nice mailers from Amazon or something. You know, it's very in between right now. It feels very hectic, it feels very stressful. So yeah, I'm taking it easy today because I think I have a cold. I don't know, maybe it's because the weather keeps changing temperatures from like freezing to summer, who knows. But I literally sat around all morning today and I think I'm gonna go run some errands right now, maybe pick up the spray paint. It's also our other roommate's birthday today. You know, a lot of stuff is going on here. But there's a little update for you. Glad we could talk. You want a fit check? Fit check. I have a dress on today because it's 70 degrees. Blue socks with the blue shirt. See? You like my fit check? I gotta get out of this house. Please help me. And here we are. We are finishing up the move. I pretty much packed my whole studio by myself, if that gives you any idea of how little of things I have. When, it, when it's kind of moved and all spread out in a new space, it looks kind of like a lot, but it wasn't. This was my final moving day. I had a few friends come over and we stole James's huge truck. If you didn't know, James has a huge pickup truck that's somewhat like a semi truck. It's huge, it's, it literally sounds like a semi truck. Uh, we took his truck and we moved all this stuff here. My friend Chris and Clea helped me. And then later this afternoon, my roommate Allie and her boyfriend Keegan helped us move and they helped me kind of unpack and settle in a little bit. Um, it was so nice to see everyone be really excited about the space. And I'm really enjoying it so far as a space where people can come and hang out, where my old studio was just too small and a little too hectic for people to come and just chill in it. So shout out to my best buds who helped me move. I couldn't have done it without you. And shout out to Chris for driving and stealing James' semi-truck with me. <laughs> ¶¶
More friends. Shift number two. Oh, I'll get in. Zuko. <laughs> We're in, baby. Oh, let's go right in and out. Oh! Wait, how do I that? Seriously, you have all of it. I'll take that. So, <gasps> what are you doing in the studio? Okay. I am frightened. Tear down. I had to come though. in a jiffy. Blue toys. Nice. Okay, you can just start putting the postcards on. I like these. Is this on? Yeah, it's on. Sorry. Put these on. Just their own stacks. Put Keegan. You want to start at the bottom or above? Do it right. Right. Fix it. Good call. Give it to Keegan. Oh, oh, I'm nervous. I get it, dude. Nope. Right. That one, Keegan. It's so much shot? brighter in here. Yeah. I mean, it's also a brighter time of the day, but still. Like, just looking at how these look. What do you think of the new space, James? It's gonna be harder for me to be genuine now. Yeah, we just had a big talk about it all. Yeah, uh, I love it. I think it's gonna make both of us a lot happier. Not that we were unhappy, but... My, my mental health is skyrocketing. Through the roof. No, I think this is gonna be great. Cause like, look how far away we are from each other. And I'm still far away from your desk. Yeah, And stay you're far away. away from that stuff. Mm -hmm. This is such a pretty shot. Is it? Do you wanna be in it? Yeah, also the sunlight in here. It's gonna be nice. You're only gonna get in the evening though. It's not gonna come in in the morning. At all, you think? I'm thinking noonish. Oh yeah, it turns it's straight It's like straight in, in yeah. that side, so it's... But sometimes sun's go like, like this. this. Yeah. I don't know where it Depends on the time of year, but... Yeah. Also, I think we should think about lights. Because mm. I don't think those are enough. I was thinking a string of lights. You could do that, and also there's outlets. So like places like Menards and whatever have like easy plug-in options. And it'd be so easy to hang it from here that we can do whatever. Okay. But yeah, I love the studio. No, I totally, I'm super excited. I love that you're wearing your sunglasses. After being blinded. <laughs> this is such a good idea. You can thank Allie for finding it. Thanks, Allie.
I'm actually, I'm gonna film the outro before the intro, which is something I've never done in my life. But I'm gonna do it that way because I feel like it's the right thing to do. Why do I feel like it's the right thing to do? I don't know. There's also um, someone down the hallway that is drilling and or cutting and or using a power tool. So just be warned that there will be some ambient construction noises going on. <laughs> you never know what's gonna happen here. I'm not at home. <laughs> You hear that? That's the guy. But welcome to the end of the video. I hope you liked it. I had such a such a, a trip moving my studio. The moving part wasn't that hard, but figuring out when to move was a little difficult for me because I had those lingering orders I was talking about with the mailers not coming in. Still, to this day, I have not shipped those orders. Finally, Eco and Clothes emailed us and they were like, yo, we actually got your order a little mixed up. It'll be there by this Friday, which means like it, some of my orders are three weeks old. <sighs> so if you're one of those people, there's like 200 or something orders that I've just held on to for three weeks because I don't have the mailers. Um, if you're one of those people, shout out to you for being patient. I have gotten almost no emails about them and everyone's been so nice and patient. So thank you for your support on my shop update. I didn't really get to talk about that because I was like shop update moving. So um, thank you for supporting my shop update and shout out to all the people that have been waiting literally a month for their order. Get it. It's gonna be even longer for like delivery time and us actually packing it. So like big shout out, big shout out to all you people. And you have black coffee. Um, why? Because I ran out of oat milk and couldn't make matcha. I filled it only like this much because coffee makes me insane, so you gotta be careful out there, you know. But I am so excited to be in this new space. So sorry about the noise. This is the only time I've ever experienced this, and you're experiencing it with me. Is it loud on video? I can't tell. It's like moderately loud for me. Everybody's trying to get in a box. Things are happening around here. Get it, take it, take it. Okay, I gotta go help Cody get his ball out of the box. Okay, I am so excited to be in this new space. I always felt cramped in my old space. It was a bedroom in my old home, if you don't know. I always felt cramped since James started working there. The business was just like bigger than that room, especially with two people in it. It was just very limited space for us and every every activity was like a whole ordeal where you have to move furniture, get out new stuff, put away your own stuff. Every activity just like wasn't fluid. You had to like finish what you were doing, put it away, get out the new thing. But I'm, I'm really excited to see how this space turns out. It's already been so relaxing to be in here and easy. I feel like I have like space to breathe and I also feel like I'm gonna enjoy being at home. I'm looking forward to actually getting to work in here. I've only worked in here like two or three days so far. So we don't really know know yet how, how it's going because we've only been in here for two or three days. But everyone's been wondering, what's gonna happen to my old studio? Am I gonna keep it as a studio? What's gonna what's going on there? So my, my old studio in my home will be my new bedroom. If you didn't know, my bedroom is just a doorway away and the way our houses are set up, they're so close together. My bedroom is right in the middle of the house and it's four windows go right up against a brick wall. So I get no natural light in there. So we will be taking out the mold wall in my studio and maybe replacing the ceiling and doing some work in there and then I will move my bedroom in there. I'm really excited for that because my bedroom is kind of dungeony. It's nice. Like I, I do like my bedroom, but it's just so dark and I think Herc will be really happy to have some sunlight in the room that he hangs out in. So that will be good. This has been the burning question of the general public. So um, we have uh, some plans for the studio. I will just continue to update through videos. There's no point in really doing a tour. All we have are two desks and some open shelving. But there will be a tour eventually. I know I know that people will ask and I will, I will, what is that? Provide for the people? The people. That's you, I guess. But thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. That's very, very cool. I know I say it all the time, but it is very cool. 
It is very cool. Um, I want to give a big puppy patron shout out to my little puppy patrons. Me and Avery, this little duck, thank you so much for your support, especially during this hectic move. It just always makes me feel better to have a consistent form of income, and that is you. So thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate you being around and sticking around while I haven't been able to be as active on Patreon because of moving and you know what not. So big shout out, big shout out. There's a hair in my mouth. Um, and thank you everyone else for watching the video. Please leave a comment down below telling me your favorite your favorite, um, your favorite dog breed, I'm dying to know. Um, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you liked it and or made it this far, you know. And I will see you later, bye. Thank you, bye. I feel really weird filming in this space, it feels wrong. It feels like I'm in a stranger's room. It feels like I'm, I'm, some, I'm somewhere else. Also, I feel like this construction guy is just listening to me now. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? He's like right behind this wall. This wall. He's listening to me. He's listening to this video. Where, where, where? Okay, bye bye. <laughs> I gotta film the intro now. Okay! He's stomping around just to torture me. <laughs>